known as the Godfather of Grass, has been arrested in Canada after eight years on the run. According to the Associated Press, the U.S. Marshal Service says authorities sought John Robert Boone after they seized 2,400 marijuana plants on his Kentucky farm. The agency said he was arrested Thursday when information led authorities to a small town outside of Montreal. Boone is approximately 73 years old. He spent more than a decade in federal prison after being convicted in the 1980s of what prosecutors called the largest domestic marijuana syndicate in American history. Random Radio, things that you should know. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Share this with everyone that you know because YouTube is not going to let, they're not going to tell you about it. They're not going to, you can't Google us for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. You type in Random Radio Podcast Show into the Google search, nothing. It's craziness. Nothing. So you're going to have to um, you know, watch these videos, share them with other people, and subscribe to us and all of that. Uh, this week, I am your host. I am... Uh, Vice President Joe Biden. Yeah, I am. I'm smelling all of you and feeling you through the computer. I'm just letting you guys know that I can feel you through the YouTube. I'm touching you. You feel so good, everyone. Anyway, and you smell good too. Uh, <laughs> so this week we're talking about the cornbread mafia. Many of you may have saw that title and said, What the hazy is this? Let me tell you. Cornbread Mafia is the name for a group of Kentucky men. Wait a minute, before I even get started, hey, you guys settle in. I'm going to be doing a little bit of reading, so this is this is more of a listening episode today. So check this out. The Cornbread Mafia is a name for a group of Kentucky men who created the largest domestic marijuana production operation in the United States history. It was based in Marion, Nelson, and Washington counties in central Kentucky. The term Cornbread Mafia was first used in public by federal prosecutors in a June 1989 press conference where they revealed that 70 men had been arrested for organizing a marijuana trafficking ring that stretched across 30 farms and 10 states across the Midwest. The story was first reported in the Courier Journal magazine in Louisville, Kentucky on, in, on October 8, 1989, and the latest, and the years later, uh, in the non-fiction book, The Cornbread Mafia, a homegrown syndicate's code of silence and the biggest marijuana bust in American history. Uh, the Cornbread Mafia is guilty and has been found, uh, well, these are the allegations against them, the reason why they led to their capture was, beginning with the Minnesota 17, 70 Kentuckians were accused of growing 182 tons of marijuana on 29 farms in 10 states, including Minnesota, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Nebraska, Missouri, and Kansas, which federal prosecutors considered to be the largest domestic marijuana producing organization in the nation. By the end of 1991, prosecutors had arrested more than 100 members of the Cornbread Mafia, mostly from Lebanon, Kentucky. According to Joe Keith Bickett's second book, The Cornbread Mafia, The Outlaws of Central Kentucky, uh, Bobby Joe Red Eye Shoemaker, the leader of the Kansas crew, was the only defendant in the group's history to be indicted on a CC charge, Career Criminal Enterprise charge. Jimmy Bickett and Joe Keith Bickett, along with two co-defendants, were the only defendants who proceeded to a jury trial after being indicted in March on, of 1990 in federal court in Louisville, Kentucky on distribution of marijuana charges. One of the most famous members of the Cornbread Mafia would have to be Johnny Boone. Uh, he is one of the most notable members. He was arrested in 1987 as the ringleader of the marijuana operation in Minnesota, for which he served about 15 years in prison. In June 2008, police discovered Mer Boone growing 2,121 marijuana seedlings on his farm outside of Springfield, Kentucky, in Washington County. The, but Boone escaped arrest under threat of life sentence without a parole because the bust would be his third in federal conviction under the three strikes law. Boone became a fugitive and the subject of a segment of America's Most Wanted. On December 22, 2016, after eight years on the run, John Boone was arrested in a small town of, uh, outside of Montreal where he had been tracked by U.S. Marshals. He was brought to the United States in April 2017. On December 19, 2017, John Boone 
uh, pleaded guilty to one count of superseding information. Boone was represented by attorneys Thomas C. Thomas Hectus, uh, and he is uh, facing a life sentence currently. Uh, actually, he will be he's sentenced in, in well, it was thought that he would be sentenced to a life sentence. He's actually getting a 57 month sentence, uh, and um, that will be the same as same as his other counterparts the Bickett's brothers and the same judge who sentenced them is the same judge who is sentencing Johnny Boone now why am I telling you this story you're probably thinking who cares about this Lorenzo this is such a stupid story you just told me this now I know that there was this huge marijuana ring known as the cornbread mafia well maybe this is interesting uh, in 2011 President Obama granted a pardon to the Les Ber to Les Berry, an original member of the alleged cornbread mafia, who was caught in Wisconsin driving a getaway car with six other Kentucky men fleeing a marijuana farm in Minnesota in late October 1987. In March uh, 2015, President Obama commuted the, the prison sentence of 22 drug offenders, including Francis Darrell Hayden, a Marion County native. Hayden had been serving a life prison sentence for marijuana cultivation because he was convicted three times of illegal cultivation, triggering the three strikes law. His last bust was, was in Michigan in 1988. 1998, I'm sorry.